It's almost like they have this um, hypnotic draw, but there's just something about it, something majestic maybe about it. It's amazing with lighthouses how people are attracted to them. I know people that travel up and down the East Coast and around the country just to go see them, not let alone photograph them. I'm shooting with the 24 to 70 Tamron today, a good focal length, 24 millimeters, nice and wide, super sharp lens. We're at the Portland Head Lighthouse. It's one of the most famous lighthouses on the East Coast. The reason why, it's right on the Atlantic Ocean and has this great cove in the foreground here. Kind of bright out, but I have some nice clouds. So I'm gonna use a neutral density filter to reduce the amount of light going through my lens so I can slow down my shutter speed and soften that water a bit. So for this personal project, I chose lighthouses, lighthouses of the East Coast. I live on Long Island, very close to Robert Moses State Park, and my family has been close to the ocean for generations and generations. When looking into the history, it turns out my great-great-grandfather, Seth Hubbard, was actually a lighthouse attendant of the Fire Island Lighthouse of Long Island in the late 1800s. I could only imagine what it was like here then, all alone in a lighthouse. The solitude during a storm in the late 1800s. One thing I love about the Maine coast is how rugged it is. Jagged rocks, great striations in them. It's just incredibly peaceful at the same time. What's nice is uh, even though the water has a little ripple to it, by doing a longer exposure, it softens it out. Beautiful. This particular beach is just before the Noble Lighthouse. Here, most of the beaches are pebbles and rocks, but this one is just expanse of sand. It's not always about the lighthouses. Sometimes it's just the simpleness of the sea. Just a, a scene, not too many waves, nice long exposure. And you get the layering of those pastel colors and the amazing thing is every single one is different because the waves are at different heights washing into the sand it's almost meditative 